got a friend. Actually, you've got many. Uh, we celebrate community today. We celebrate being uh, one body in, in Christ's spirit. And uh, a special celebration today of community in Christ. Uh, we're welcoming people who have started to participate in one way and another in, in, at Zion in the last year. Um, one, of the, one of the fruits is being recorded. Good. I need to. So people have been, we, we were forced to learn how to do live streaming, and now we do it just as a matter of course, and we will continue. We have uh, many people who have joined us via Zoom, and we're going to be trying to introduce them to you today by projecting them up um, on the Zoom spotlight, up on the screen, and then different ones of you uh, will introduce here in the room as well. And then we're also going to honor our graduates uh, from high school. And uh, so comings and goings, uh, that's just part of community, coming and going. Um, but the constant thing is love. And so uh, Charlie is graduating, and Alex is graduating, and we're going to honor them. We're going to embarrass them, make them stand up and say something later in the, later in the service. So welcome, welcome, welcome. People still arriving from the highways and the byways. Uh, we, uh, we are doing in place of the hymn of praise, we are going to do now, let the whole, now to the Holy Spirit let us pray, hymn number 743. Let's run through that quick because it's unfamiliar probably to most of us.
please rise with me. Let's give thanks for baptism. Community in Christ. Page 95 and 96. And ninety seven. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires know, and from the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O oh God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the water, and by your word you created the cosmos, calling forth life in which you took delight. We praise you for the gift of water that sustains life. And above all, we praise you for the gift of new life in Jesus Christ. Shower us with your spirit. Renew our lives with your forgiveness, grace, and love. To you be honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord in the unity of the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Number 641, all are welcome. Verse 1 and 3 
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Kyrie. Hymn number 157. Seven four three. Verse two, seven four three. God is in you. Quiet our hearts. O Spirit of the Holy One, the Spirit of wholeness, holy breath of God, quiet our hearts today. Settle our minds. Settle on our minds on eternal things in this moment. Amidst all of our distractions and happenings and comings and goings, let us find peace here and now by your spirit, eternal life. Set our hearts on, and minds on the things that matter and the things that last. Love, joy, peace, 
patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Keep us under the shadow of your wing. Those who come to us, those who depart from us, all temporary, all temporarily, yet sharing what is eternal in the eternal present by your spirit. You have called us and made us family. One family, one body, a shared life. Amen. Please be seated. The Holy Gospel from Mark chapter 3. Jesus went home. Did you know Jesus had a home? Jesus went home. And the crowd came and swarmed around again so that no one could even eat. <laughs> and when his family saw what was happening, they went out to restrain him. For people were saying, he has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebul. And by the ruler of demons he casts out demons. And he called them to him and he spoke to them in parables. He said, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if Satan rises up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. No one can enter a strong person's house and plunder their property without first tying up that strong person, and then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly, I tell you, People will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit is subject to everlasting judgment. For they had said he has an unclean spirit. And then his mother and his brothers come and they're standing outside and they send to him and they call to him. And a crowd is sitting around him, and they say to him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. And he replies, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother, my sister, my mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise uh, 
this was something like Jesus' graduation party. Or his coming out party. He goes home, he goes to his hometown. Having spent his time in the wilderness, having spent his time in study and prayer and meditation and finding his own sense of personal calling, being affirmed by John the Baptist, he goes home. <clears throat> and the people crowd around and it says just before this text that he was healing people and casting out demons. Now you can imagine the scene. Whatever they meant by casting out demons, I don't imagine that it was pretty. And the people that were afflicted in whatever way that really meant to be afflicted were probably not very presentable. But they came. They flocked to him from all over the countryside, already having heard about him, and they overran his little hometown by the Sea of Galilee. And his family gets concerned. They're overwhelmed. They're disturbed. And they start saying he's... He's become ecstatic. That's the literal word, ecstatic, to stand beside yourself, to be beside yourself. He's beside himself. He's not himself. What they didn't realize is <laughs> he was living out his truest true self. And so they come, the ill, the lame, the handicapped, the beggars, the people on the losing side of life, they come. The mentally ill, the deranged, the psychotic, I think we would call them, they come. And this community gathers, and it's disruptive and it's upsetting to this quiet little town on the seaside that he grew up in. It's upsetting. It's disturbing. And so they go to restrain him. They're so concerned that they go to, to grab him and pull him away, maybe talk some sense into him, have an intervention. Surely this can't be right. This can't be our son, our brother, our neighbor. This isn't what a rabbi, this isn't how a rabbi comports himself. And so right in the heart of this story, as brilliantly told by Mark at the very beginning of his public ministry, there's the question of home, of family, and of community. And they all come together at once in his hometown with this disturbed and disturbing community that is flocking to him and his family, who are worried. And his mom, and his brothers, his siblings, they can't even get into the house. And so they ask, ask for him. Please tell him that we are here. We would like to see him. And word travels, and he gets word that his mother, brothers, sisters, cousins, family, they want to see him. And he says, look around you. 
Who are my mother, my brothers, my sisters? These, all, who do God's will, who have found the life of Christ, the life of God, the life of the Spirit, through whom life flows one to another for the sake of the healing of the needs, the pains, the illnesses of others. Family is a gift. Natural family is a gift. Of course it's a gift. And our families express themselves however they do. Sometimes in beautiful ways and sometimes in not so beautiful ways. But we are family by birth. But we're also family by spiritual birth. And that family is as real and we're invited to be as deep and as difficult and as beautiful as any family. And we're joined together in this calling, not just to love one another, but to love the world that God loves. To turn ourselves not inward, but outward. Yes, to carry one another's burdens and to supply one another's needs, but also, and just as importantly, to invite any who are in need, who might find in this community of grace, in this community of the Spirit, and in this imperfect, perfect communion. Healing grace, alignment, inner peace, eternal life, which is the life of love. Family is a gift. Family is a gift. We honor and celebrate it today with the people who are new to us here and the people who are old to us here, <laughs> the people who have yet to come and the people who have passed on and yet somehow are mystically, wonderfully present. We honor our young. We celebrate their lives. We send them into the world with our blessing and with our love. This is family. God's family. May we celebrate it with open hearts and open hands.
548, Rise O Church. And please rise for this if you were able. Verses 1 and 4. Just verses 1 and 4. Please be seated. At this time, I want to welcome and introduce those who we haven't had a chance to because of pandemic and technology, I mean ignorance about technology um, and so forth. But if you bear with me for just a second, I'm going to bring the Zoom meeting up on the screen, hopefully. Being recorded. We got a little picture there. Let's see if it gets bigger. Yay! How about that? Sorry, I can't get my face out of the corner of the. <laughs> really? Well, let's. Uh, why don't you? Mute my phone for now. have a special community there and I'm very grateful to be part of it. Well, I just wanted to say that the community that you have at Zion is very special 
And I am very grateful to be part of it, even though I'm a thousand miles away. So thank you for that. I'm in North anyway, Carolina. North Carolina. She's zooming in from North Carolina. So Catherine um, is also on our Zoom committee, the committee that's trying to help us figure out how to do this better and better. So Catherine, we really appreciate you and all your good work in the world. Okay. Oh, camera's up, I know, sorry. <laughs> She comes to church, she sits back there. Um, she does great work in the world, especially, especially uh, in the context of Ramsey County and sexual assault uh, services. So she is one of the, one of the great people. All right. That's Emily. Okay, who else? Katie. Yeah, Katie. It's Katie. Her camera's off. Katie. Oh, there we go. Joining us from Edina, and her husband is Terry. They often zoom in, and uh, they've been uh, yeah. just a wonderful part of our community. So, hello, everyone. Okay. Yes. everybody. <laughs> Joe practices psychiatry, um, and uh, he, uh, he, Andrew and I have known Joe since high school, so uh, we're old, old friends, and he's been joining us regularly and contributing the coffee hour, and so Joe, great to have you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you.
yourselves so mighty. All right. I just need to get a bit of a bit next to me. These two have been, a, actually they've been more than just uh, shower-uppers, they've been contributors. Charlie, as you all know, has been hosting the Zoom, helping me out immensely, helping us all out immensely um, with her Zoom hosting. And Alex has been on the, on the council uh, for what, two years now? Three? Yeah. Long time. I'm kind of absent for the past year though. Well, you know, whatever. But. Anyway, he's a go-getter. He's a contributor to our life together. So, um, did you say Alex needs to go first? Yes, Alex. Alex, what do you say? I can. You are the awesome. I want yeah. to. There you go. Okay. So, just uh, Alex, um, you know, what are your plans going forward? And uh, say a word to the people of Zion about what it's meant to be here at Zion. Grow up here. Okay, well, um, I've been accepted to North Dakota State University, and I plan to study Spanish education there, because I like Spanish, and I'm good with kids. I like to think, I don't know. <laughs> I, I've never asked the kids, but I would assume they think I'm good with them, you know? But uh, wait, what was the other question? What's it meant to grow up at Zion to you? Oh, what is it meant to grow up, was, grow up at Zion? Um, I mean, I guess the biggest two reasons why I came here was to visit my grandparents and to sing. So that was pretty fun. I don't know. I, I, I have a good time coming here every Sunday. I, if I didn't have a good time coming here every Sunday, I wouldn't come every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I don't know. That's perfect. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, 
Alex. Um, I am going to University of Denver in the fall. I don't know what I'm studying. Um, I plan on joining the Frisbee team. That is all that I know. Um, I have a quick story. So I've spent my whole life running up and down, you know, in the pews and screaming and everything. But my first swear word was actually in a church. Um, I was wearing Velcro shoes and I was sitting next to my mom and I couldn't get them to work. And I couldn't, I couldn't get them to Velcro. I don't know what that, I don't know how that could happen. But, um, and I said, dang it, but much less appropriately. Um, and it's kind of been like that ever since. I, um, dang it, I have to leave the sleepover early and go to church. Dang it, I'm going to be late to Frisbee because I have confirmation. And now it's, dang it, I have to leave. So um, I think church has been a really big constant. And I think you've seen the most growth from me, and I've seen a lot of growth in this church, and it's been super fun. Um, Dad asked me to keep working when I go to college, so this is also me putting in my three months notice. I am not going to be working when I go to college. <laughs> um, but I can't wait for the summer, and I'm going to be so sad to say goodbye. But I'm super excited, and that is my spiel. All right. Thank you most of all, you two, for just being you. And I will also add a side note that, that that dang it, which wasn't a dang it, came right in the middle of my sermon. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so. Please rise if you're able. We'll keep the prayers short, but sincere and earnest, and we pray for these young people as they go into the world and graduates everywhere, leaving home for the first time. We pray for those, all of you who are new to us, we pray for you with love in our hearts. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, for this world you love and our place in it. God, in your mercy. For young people everywhere, for well-being, for a sense of calling in the world and purpose and meaningful contribution, God in your mercy. For all who are committed to healing in whatever capacity in the world, strength and blessing and power, God in your mercy. For peace everywhere, for peace most of all in our hearts beginning with us and spreading outward, God in your mercy. For those who are new to us, and for all of us, we give thanks for this community of service, God in your mercy. Into your hands, O oh God, we commend every one for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We share peace with each other.
please rise. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup. He gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people. Do this and remember me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The table is prepared, and everyone is welcome.
Alex, are you having a party? Uh, oh, yeah. Are we invited? Zoomers to come to. The Zoom meeting on the whole time. We might have. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And we might have enough. many thoughts and today. Poems. And one of them is uh, for our budding congregation. And uh, I actually, uh, this poem came to me, I can't say that I write them, it came to me around the time when we were starting to take more food um, and create more space. And But I think it's really appropriate for today and uh, in the spirit of, of all, all of us coming together. It's called In Between. It's in the spaces where the resonance the hum of possibility opens into full-throated joy. It's through the seeing and not seeing that the image begins to form and effortlessly takes the shape that is meant to be. So it is with us in this time, this place, this Please rise if you can. Lean on me inside the door.
to serve God. Amen. And I forgot to share communion with you. Love y'all. Thanks, man.